I must admit I absolutely adore combined track and field events in athletics like the decathlon for men, the heptathlon for women. I love them because they look for the most complete athlete, but also because they use mathematics, beautiful mathematics in their scoring system. Of course, the scoring system is a difficult problem in combined track and field events because you have all these different disciplines and you want to award them a certain number of points and you want this to be balanced out between the disciplines. So you need a fair system. How do you solve this? How do you make sure that, well, an athlete cannot score 2000 points on the javelin and then maybe only 100 points on the 100 meter sprint? This is what they did in the beginning. They chose a very good result, close to a world record or something, and they said, this result deserves 1,000 points. And then they chose a very bad result. And they said, this result is zero points. And then they just drew a straight line between it on a graph like this. So this is the time, this is the graph for the 800 meters in the heptathlon, outdoor heptathlon for women. So. 127 seconds, two minutes and seven seconds is a very good result on the 800 meters, 1000 points. 254 seconds, four minutes and 14 seconds, that's a very bad result, zero points. Then you draw a straight line between them, like this. This is the time, this is the number of points. And now for every time, you can see, you can easily calculate the number of points. There's of course also a beautiful formula for a straight line like this. It is A times B minus X. So it's a simple formula and you could calculate X being the result, A and B being numbers designed for this 800 meters, X being the result in seconds. So you could calculate for every result the number of points. But after a while they started to realize that there is something wrong with this system. And it's the fact that the line is straight. Because when you run 10 seconds faster than the very bad result, your extra number of points is exactly the same than when you run 10 seconds better than the very good result. And that's just not fair. Doing 10 seconds better than a very good result should have a much bigger gain in points than doing 10 seconds better than a bad result. So what you want is this line to be curved like this. This is what you want. Now, if you do 10 seconds better than the bad result, your gain in points is a lot smaller than when you do 10 seconds better than the very good result. Now, mathematically, how do you make a line curve like this? You add an exponent right there. So the formula you have now is A times B minus X, and X is your result, to the power C. For every discipline, in the combined track and field events, there are the numbers A, B, and C. They are especially designed to be fair and to have this 1,000 points for a very good result, zero points for a very bad result, and then the curved line between them. You can find the tables with all the A, Bs, and Cs for all the disciplines online and so you can calculate the score for every possible result. This for example is the formula for the 800 meters in the heptathlon outdoor for women. If you put your number of seconds in there a beautiful number comes out and you know what score you have on this discipline. There mathematics in the decathlon and the heptathlon and you could start to wonder oh my god are these athletes, these decathletes and heptathletes, are these athletes not only semi-gods in a physical way, but are they also mathematicians? Unfortunately not. The athletes have a little book and it has all the numbers for every result that says how many points you get for every result. Oh my God. They treat numbers like objects.